Hi folks, here's an overview of nine amazing astronomy events that you don't want to miss in May 2023. I release multiple videos with information about awesome astronomy events that are about to happen. So if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on future astronomy events. All right, let's start the overview. Exciting news for those residing in Eastern Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. On the night of May 5th, 2023, a deep penumbral lunar eclipse will be visible to you. Although it is the most subtle type of lunar eclipse, it is still a rare and breathtaking astronomical event to witness. The full moon on May 5th is known as Flower Moon, to signify the flowers that bloom during this month. The E. Aquarian meteor shower will be active from April 19th to May 28th, producing its peak rate of meteors around May 6th. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing E. Aquarian meteors whenever the shower's radiant point. In the constellation, Aquarius is above the horizon. With the number of visible meteors increasing, the higher the radiant point is in the sky. At its peak, the shower is expected to produce a nominal rate of around 40 meteors per hour. However, with an almost full moon, it will be tricky to notice the meteors. The E. Lyrid meteor shower will be active from the 3rd of May to the 14th of May, producing its peak rate of meteors around May 9th. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing E. Lyrid meteors whenever the shower's radiant point. In the constellation, Lyra is above the horizon, with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. At its peak, the shower is expected to produce a nominal rate of around 3 meteors per hour. The moon will be 88% lit, making it harder to detect meteors. The moon will reach the closest point along its orbit to the Earth and will appear slightly larger than at other times on May 11th. The moon's distance from the Earth varies because its orbit is not perfectly circular. It is slightly oval-shaped, tracing out a path called an ellipse. As the moon traverses this elliptical path around the Earth each month, its distance varies by 14% between 356,500 kilometers at perigee, the closest approach to the Earth, and 406,700 kilometers at apogee, when the Moon is farthest from Earth. The Moon and Saturn will make a close approach, passing within two and a half degrees of each other in the morning of May 13th. Before sunrise, look towards the southeast. The Moon will be 23 days old and 32% lit. The Moon will be at magnitude minus 12 and Saturn will be at magnitude 0.8. Both objects will lie in the constellation Aquarius. The Moon and Venus will make a close approach, passing within 2 degrees of each other on May 23rd. The crescent Moon will be 4 days old and 18% lit. The pair will be visible after sunset in the western sky until it sets just after midnight. The Moon will be at a magnitude of minus 10 and Venus will be at a magnitude of minus 4. Both objects will lie in the constellation Gemini. On May 24th, the Moon and Mars will make a close approach, passing within three degrees of each other in the western evening sky. The Moon will be five days old. The pair will be visible after sunset at 9.46 p.m. before it sets at 1.54 a.m. The Moon will be at magnitude minus 11, and Mars will be at magnitude 1.5. Both objects will lie in the constellation Cancer. The Moon orbits the Earth once every four weeks, causing its phases to cycle through the New Moon, first quarter, full moon, last quarter, and back to New Moon once every 29.5 days. On May 27th, at first quarter, the Moon is 50% lit, and it appears high in the sky at sunset before sinking towards the horizon and setting in the middle of the night. I hope you'll be able to watch some of these beautiful astronomical events in May 2023. Thanks for watching and clear skies.